for me, making inheritance was an opportunity to revisit the subject of the Holocaust in a way that we haven't seen before from the perspective of the Nazi perpetrators. The film Inheritance is about two women who meet for the first time, and the one thing they have in common is Amon Get, a man who was the commandant of a concentration camp during World War II. One of these women, Helen, was enslaved by Amon Get during the war. The other woman, Monica, is his daughter. In 2003, I was producing a documentary for the Schindler's List DVD, a documentary about Schindler survivors. And there was a photograph of Amon Get, who was the, the commander of Pasha. We needed the rights to the photograph, and they were owned by Monica, his daughter. So I simply called her to ask for the rights to use the photograph in the documentary. We talked for quite a while, and suddenly in the middle of the conversation, she said, you know, I'm not my father. So immediately, I thought, I, I want to interview this woman. In Schindler's List, uh, Ray Fiennes portrayed Tom and Get, and there are those scenes where he's standing on the balcony of the villa overlooking the camp and he's holding his rifle and he's shooting at the prisoners of the camp. That's Monica's father and when she was 11 years old she discovered the truth about who her father was. He was a Nazi, he was a concentration camp commandant and he was responsible for the murder of thousands of Jews. So when I called Monica asking for the rights to the photograph, she said, do you by any chance know Helen Jonas? And I said, well, yes, I do. I had just met her, completely coincidentally. She said, I've been trying to track her down for years. And she asked if I would give her a letter um, and make sure it got to her, you know, asking to meet with her. Uh, I mentioned it to Helen, and she, she didn't want anything to do with it. She says, I, I, I can't think about Amon yet. I can't think about the fact that he has a daughter. I can't look into her eyes. Even if I look at a photograph of her, it reminds me of Amon Get, and I, I, I have no interest. Um, and this was at an event where I saw her in person. An hour later, she stops me and she says, I want to talk to you a little bit more about that. In Inheritance, we follow Monica and we follow Helen as they meet for the first time uh, at the Plashoff concentration camp. When James called me to do Inheritance, uh, he said, you know, I, this is definitely a two-camera shoot. And this is one of the first times I think uh, we've done a two-camera shoot together like this. We, we're generally a you know, single-camera uh, documentary team. And he said, no, no, these, these, both of these women are, you know, they're both the main characters. We had to be careful not to interfere. The nice thing about having two cameras, and especially when you have a second camera operator that you really trust, is that you, you can say, look, I'm going to get this angle, I'm going to get this character, I'm going to get whoever's looking this way. And I, I know that the other guy is going to—he's going to cover that other side, and I don't—I can just sit comfortably on this side and really get get this person's story. This was a very intense experience, and the day we had there in, in Krakow when the, the women uh, got together, those moments are what you live for as a documentary cameraman because you know there's these great moments where you've you've been waiting and waiting for the moment, and suddenly it's just all coming together and. and and some great stuff happening, and that's that's what's really satisfying. And that's and that's when you really you know you're on your game, and you just you're totally focused in on, on what's going on. When you document somebody's life story, and follow them for a period of time, especially something as emotional and powerful as this, you become very close to them. You start to become and feel almost like a, a family member. But I think our whole crew became very protective of both Monica and Helen and what they had to, what they were going through. Truly, as you see it in the film, is exactly as it happened.